Hello and welcome to the next episode. It's Mona. I'm recording these back to back, so I literally just got done with uh, recording Venti's. I think he's actually still up there. I don't know if he's despawned yet. Uh, yeah, he's still there. <laughs> There's our sad boy. Uh, but we are going and moving on to Mona. And I don't know where it starts. Uh, oh yeah, right. Leave Liwei Harbor. Okay. So we are, we're fine to go into Liwei as long as we don't touch the Adventures Guild. That's what it's called. Also, hopefully I'm not too out of it. I just started cramping real bad. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully this will be fine. But, uh, I think we're good. Amber. Oh, this is about Amber and not Amber. The Outrider Amber. It's just Amber the Rock. Amber the Rock is pretty cool, actually. It makes me sound like I'm calling Amber, like, the Rock. I don't, like, never mind. This is stupid. Stupid joke. I was like, <laughs> whatever. Oh, you got your alt outfit on. Almost fell asleep waiting. <laughs> As usual, my predictions are correct. You, yes, you, come with me. Huh? Are you some sort of door to door fortune teller? <laughs> Sorry, but we're not really interested. <sighs> You're not from this world, are you? <gasps> How do you know about that? How? Because I'm a master of true astrology. If you've no other questions, let's be off. Oh, I'm just full of questions. For starters, who are you? <sighs> Fine. I'll exercise a little patience and explain. I am astrologist Mona Magistus, but considering that it is most rude to misremember names, I allow others to call me Mona. I am on a mission from my master to retrieve a certain box from Mondstadt. It was part of an agreement she made with a friend 50 years ago. But she isn't as spry as she used to be, so now it's up to me. Not sure what getting some box back has to do with us. Why do you need us to come along? Well, that's because I would also like to take on the guardian of the box. My master and her friend contended in the mystic arts all their lives without a clear victor. If I triumph here, then I will show myself to be superior to my master. So you want to prove yourself, huh? <clears throat> well, I want to prove the power and status of astrology, to be precise. Now, from my predictions, I know that my master's friend has left Mondstadt, leaving her successor as the current guardian of that box. Like me, that successor must also be one who has surpassed their teacher. I must not be careless. But I would prefer to assure my victory in this contest, and upon giving it some thought, you came to mind. How did you end up thinking of me? The knowledge passed down to me from my master must be passed on in turn. If I were to bring my disciple to meet her, then the lead is already mine, no? And you are Mondstadt's great hero, my equal in status, so... Since when was I your student? Come on, you don't actually have to become my disciple. You just need to act the part. There's something in it for you as well, should you come with me to get that box. Once I meet that successor and have a chance to exchange knowledge with them, I should be able to read your fate more accurately. Then I will have answers for you, even regarding such distant and foggy matters as gods and kin. That does seem much faster than searching the land country by country. Well, I guess we'll play along. <laughs> a wise decision. That said, I would like to pay a certain place a visit before we go. Beyond this world stars. There is a small inn near Mount Tianhong that never sees a lot of business, even though its food is always great value for the money. The owner has always been good to me, so I'd like to say a farewell before I set off. 
Okay. But yeah, her her uh, other outfit uh, used to be just like this bodysuit. But she was one of the four characters whose outfits got changed. And so now she uh, wears pants <laughs> and not like a leotard. A lot of people find this to be the most egregious change. But frankly, her current outfit, to me, I prefer it. I think one of the reasons I didn't use Mona early on, despite the fact I got her... She was one of... Not my first five star, but one of the ones I got pretty early on. Uh, was purely because I What's just did not understand the leotard. Oh, this is suspicious. Hold on. I will continue to talk about Mona while I smash rocks. Uh, but... Something else that's interesting is uh, Mona and Albedo are actually- they actually know each other as well and they discuss with each other, but more on that later. It won't come up- it won't come up in the story quest, but you will understand uh, how they have come to know each other in the course of this quest. I don't know where Mona is actually from because she- <laughs> she seems to be kind of all over the place. Uh, more on that later as well. Let's talk to this this man. Well, it's no wonder that an inn set up here has no business. Mona, well, you've come at just the right time. Did you see a jade ring while you made your way here? A jade ring? Can't say I have. Oh, that's not good. That ring was given to me by my mother. But while my back was turned, it was swallowed up by a slime. That should be no trouble with Mona here. She's really good at astrology. Absolutely not. Astrology is meant to be used to gain insight into reality and observe destiny itself. It's certainly not for such mundane affairs. But didn't you say that the owner here has been good to you? This is a matter of pride and one state of mind. If an astrologist thinks that their arts can solve all problems, they will be forsaken by the starry ether. Their divinations will lose the power to guide and will not be able to pierce the fog of the unknown before them. Principles are principles. Such a powerful ability, and you don't use it to earn a living? What a shame. Uh, well, I was going to put up 20,000 mora as compensation, if you were willing. Uh, 20,000? What's with that look on your face? Oh, uh, it's nothing. I... I was just thinking that the person who finds that ring must be lucky indeed to be able to earn 20,000 mora just like that. Whatever happened to principles are principles. <clears throat> yes, of course. Still, the owner's business has had it pretty hard. It must be a truly extraordinary ring to be worth spending this much mora to find. It wouldn't be right for us to leave like this, so let's help to search for it. There may be other means we can employ besides astrology. Oh, Paimon knows where this is going. I know. I'll leave this one to you. This is the first mission I'm giving you as your master. But of course, I guess it's become my business. Again. Hmm. Since it was swallowed up by a slime, maybe we can use Elemental Bait to lure all the nearby slimes to us. You remember the stuff we helped Master Diluc make? And... <laughs> Paimon actually kept a small amount. Don't tell me that when you get greedy, you... Uh, don't sweat the small stuff. Seems like you already have a plan. Yep, we'll be back in a jiffy. Extended black screen, hello? The elemental bait's really this strong. It will attract either. all the slimes in the area. I guess I can keep even if they're just slimes, they can be dangerous together, so we'd best prepare ourselves. Is that man's name Dummy? So what's your story? Me? Well, I had a bit of a bad name in the past. Roamed the streets, got into fights, had my eye on Mr. Shu here, could see in a blink that he was some rich guy, so I came here. You know, earn some cash, pass the time. But these days have been way more leisurely than I thought they'd be. Therefore, I knew it. I didn't fire me anymore. Now I just want to find a girl to marry. Maybe it's age or maybe it's this peaceful life, but I've changed. Why is your name Dummy? 
This is your first mission, so don't mess it up. But if the going gets too tough for you... Well, I shall lend a hand then. This life isn't bad either. Whatever, okay. I'm so, I don't even know what Paimon said earlier. I was so intrigued by the fact there's a dude just straight up named Dummy. I've literally never noticed that before. What slimes? Oh, those slimes. Hello. Dodge this. <laughs> you were gonna jump, weren't you? You thought. You thought. Wait, you're immune to Hydro. Why am I doing that? Oh, but I've been, uh, working on building, uh, Yanfei a little bit, which is fine, because I figure I'll just, you know, whatever artifacts I'll put on her, I'll just put on Zhangling when I get her. Because they both use, uh, the Crimson Witch set, so I figure, like, whatever little baby artifacts I put on her will probably be... They'll be sufficient. Besides, I'm still- I- You fuckers. I, I I don't have any really great artifacts. I think my only five star artifact is on Bennett because it's a it's a health artifact, and I'm for the moment building him sort of a healer more than a burst support. Even though burst support is his like recommended build or whatever. Is that it? Bring it on! Oh nope, there's more. Uh, But once I get Zhang Ling, she might actually- <laughs> We got a full view of that dude floating. Uh, he might- She might replace, uh, Kaya. Just because going straight Melt is probably better than doing both Melt and, uh... Whatever the heck. What am I doing? What is this? I have Freeze and Melt and Vaporize and- I don't know, I'm just spamming. Plus, the double- the double, um... Pyro will get me Pyro Residence, which gives me an attack bonus, so. We got it! Found it! This must be the ring! It's so pretty! Paimon, sure it's worth a ton of... Uh, Paimon wasn't having any bad thoughts! Uh, let's bring the ring back to Mr. Zhu. Why are you like this, Paimon? Paimon, why are you actually evil? Paimon wasn't having any bad thoughts. Yeah, sure. You have- 50% of your thoughts are bad thoughts. Oops. <laughs> Sits down. Hello. That's it. That's the one. Ah, I thought it was lost forever. You actually found it. Not bad. Mr. Zhu, you must take care of such precious things a bit better. You might not be so fortunate next time. You're absolutely right. How would I have faced my family if I had lost the 253rd ring my mother gave me? Oh, let me explain. My family owns three jade mines, and in order to ensure that I would be able to find myself a good wife, my mother had many jade accessories made as heirlooms. I think there might be over 500 of them. Then why would you feel the need to set up an inn here? Well, inheriting the family business too early unavoidably made things boring. Thank you, all the same. Here's the Mora, as agreed. Please take it. Then... Then I'll take it, gladly. That was quick! Even Paimon wasn't that fast! But we did all the work! A disciple should act like one. How can they steal their master's thunder? Well, I never said I'd really be your disciple. Exactly! <laughs> well, you need to start practicing now. If my rival is as smart as I think they are, they will figure you out in a heartbeat. Uh, what was that rumbling sound? Oh, right. You mustn't have eaten in days. I'm very sorry. I forgot that you have no... <laughs> that didn't happen. Forget it. <laughs> well, I suddenly feel that you have indeed contributed to our good fortune. I say we spend this money on treating you to a fine meal. 
If we travel north, we'll reach the Wongshu Inn. I hear the food there is really good, so let's go try it out. No need to thank me. I'm just doing as a good master should. Did she say she was treating us? Is Paimon hearing things? Let's go after her. There, I said it for you. Let's go after her for good food! Hold on. Thank you all so much. You're welcome to drop by again. Look at me when I'm speaking to you. Well, if this inn hasn't closed its doors yet. <laughs> I guess I can Bastard. Okay. Go to Wang Chu Inn and en route to Mondstadt. Like I'm fucking walking there? Are you insane? Imagine walking. Imagine walking in Genshin. Imagine not using teleport points. Hmm. <laughs> There's so many quests I've ignored here. Oh my gosh. Die! Ah yes. My 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 big meal of a teacup and two sunsetias. Can I sit? Thank you. Since it's Mona's treat, we can order whatever we want, right? Of course. I am a most generous master, after all. But only if you can finish it all. Wasting food simply will not do. Excuse me, what would you like to order? Mmm. What do I want to eat? Golden shrimp balls, vegetarian abalone, Crab road tofu, it's raining, and salted pork soup. Let's go with salted pork soup. This is a favorite among our regulars. Bamboo shoots, meat, and ham are cooked together, creating a richly flavored soup. Imagine eating soup in the rain. Pour a few spoonfuls into each bowl of rice you eat. Mm, you'll never get enough of it. Oh, I guess we're going to talk about each thing. These are made using large succulent shrimp wrapped in crispy fried potatoes. They have an amazing texture. It's exactly what it says on the label. Abalone made from vegetarian ingredients. It's just as good as the real thing. Isn't abalone a fish? Though tofu could not be a more ordinary ingredient, it and crab roe are truly a match made in heaven. It's one of our specialties. What? I'll order them all? Uh, all of them? We only have three. No, two and a half people? <laughs> Isn't that too much food? That's not how you count it. Besides, Paimon hasn't even ordered yet. <clears throat> Squirrelfish, Juyu chili chicken, and Juyu soup, please. <laughs> we both woke up and chose violence today. Sure. And is there anything else you'd like to order, ma'am? I... I'd just like to ask, how much do the current dishes cost in total? Not now, Jong Young! God! Damn it! Get off my screen! Fuck! Thank you. Um... Around 20,000 mora. Then... Uh, I'll... I'll just have some vegetarian noodles, please. Alright. A bowl of vegetarian noodles, was it? Please wait a moment. We'll serve you shortly. The food arrives. You and Paimon gorge yourselves on a feast. Fi okay. Paimon's been thinking about something since we started eating. Why did she only order one dish? Is it? Because she actually doesn't have money? I heard that. I said I was treating. How could I be rattled by something as mundane as Mora? An astrologist's mind is set on studying the stars. Being so easily disturbed by such banal matters would hamper my judgment. Especially the act of overly gratifying oneself using Mora. It is both vulgar... Such angry eyebrows. ...and dangerous. So, not eating the dishes we ordered is also part of an astrologist's pride? Paimon doesn't get it. 
But it feels kind of bad that only we got to feast. Let me whip something up for you. Oh, yes. We can do that. Just give us a minute. You don't use more to fulfill your desires. So it's fine as long as you're not buying anything, right? Let's go borrow the kitchen from the innkeeper. There's no need to spend all that effort on me. I'm not in dire need of food. I am a little hungry. But it's not a big deal. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many blue question marks. I, cl I did the, s the stream and I cleared out all the uh, question- or er, er, things from Mondstadt. I should have done Wang Shu in as well. Hey, hey! Let me talk to you! Hello, how may I help you? We'd like to borrow the kitchen here. My friend would like to eat something made by me. Ah, I see. In that case, sure. As long as you prepared your own ingredients, feel free to use the kitchen. If I may, you must be well versed in the art of cooking, yes? Of course, if I make it, it's delicious. <laughs> Talented indeed. Actually, I have a small suggestion to make. From your clothes, you're most likely not from around these parts. But since you've come to Liyue, would you like to try making Liyue-style cuisine? I have a recipe for golden crab with me. It's a Yue cuisine classic. It's crab meat that's been rolled in flour, deep fried, and then pan fried together with ginger and garlic. When you finally plate it up, the crab seems to be lying on gold. Golden crab. That sounds a little complicated. Golden crab, golden crab. I got it, I got it, golden crab. I guess I'm learning it for your sake too. <laughs> then let's get to it. With your skills in the kitchen, this will be a cinch. I hope I have the uh, ingredients for this. I do. Good. Yes. Oh, right. The jam I made is probably done. I was making jam so I could make uh, Mondstadt hash browns. What, what, why are you telling me that I've never- I've never picked up jam before? I have definitely picked up jam before. Fucking liar. LIAR! Hello. I have crab. There's no need to spend all that effort on me. I'm not in dire need of food. I am a little hungry. But it's not a big deal. Oh, I had some. This aroma is... Something to go with your noodles. I never thought it'd be so luxurious. Fine. Since my disciple has put in so much time and effort, I must, with great difficulty, accept. Mm. This golden crab is too delicious. I have never eaten anything this good in my life. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I never knew that my disciple was this skilled. As your master, I am most comforted. As long as you're eating a full meal. I see that it's no boast to call them Liga's delicacies. I suppose it wasn't too much to spend all this more on. Ah, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Now that we've eaten and drank our fill, we should be off. If we travel north from here, we should reach the Stone Gate, and from there we will be within the boundaries of Mondstadt. What deep mystery shall we acquire knowledge of? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Continue your journey. Head for the stone gate. Okay, stone gate. Um, just teleport there. Okay. I believe we get to fight here. Oops. Or at least upcoming we get to fight. Whew, that was tiring, but we're finally in Mondstadt. The quest to plumb the wondrous depths of knowledge is indeed arduous. Hi, Mon's not tired. Ugh, that's because you float. 
Well, it doesn't look like an astrologist is all that amazing either. That's because you have too many unrealistic fantasies about astrology. Are you also resting your feet here? Who are you? Oh, my brothers and I are all merchants. We just finished doing business in Liyue, and we're preparing to head back to Mondstadt. You look rather tired. The cart we hired will be coming in a while. What say you to coming along for the ride? Do I need to pay? No need, no need. We're already heading that way anyway. There's no need. Now, shoo, get out of our way. Huh? <laughs> Miss, is there something wrong? Cease your pretensions, bandit. Picking up people on the road who appear vulnerable, robbing them blind once they've gotten on the cart, and then taking them to some Archon forsaken place. Is that your deal? What are you saying? We came over here to make conversation, and this is how we're rewarded? With insults? If you don't want to get on, don't. <laughs> Crazy girl. Well then, shall I tell you now which objects you have on you that are stolen? If you have any quibbles, we can bring people to corroborate what I've said and all will come to light. If I lose, I'll pay you 20,000 mora. But if I win, then you'll be eating prison rations in Liyue Harbor tonight. How about it? If you're real legitimate businessmen, there's nothing to fear, is there? You... You... You've pushed it too far, brat. I don't know how you found out, but as long as we get rid of you, no one will have to know. Careful, Mona. Don't fret, it's just a few bandits. You said earlier that there was nothing amazing about astrologists. Well then, this is a good time to show you what your master can do. I'll blow you away! Ah! Alright, she has alternate sprint. But Mona is more of a support character, I believe. I never really- there are teams that use her, but... She's fun to play because alternate sprint, but... Woo! Okay, and then this should help me increase damage. Oh shit! Wow. Oh god. How did you hit me from- Stupid. <laughs> what did you think? Did that satisfy your expectations? It's impressive that you saw through those bandits. <laughs> Such things are elementary for an astrologist. Lies are worthless before astrology. Destiny and truth are written in the stars. Though it may take more time to garner the specifics, I can read the gist of a situation at a glance. But you did hit some bumps in the road! That's because Tivat's stars can only display the fates and truths of this world. Anything related to you becomes like a fog that even I cannot penetrate. That is why I must meet that successor. With our knowledge combined, I might be able to gain new insight into your fate. I'm not getting my hopes up. <laughs> Whatever the case, you've got everything to gain from this trip. Alright, I'm rested. Let's get this journey to Mondstadt over with. <sighs> if only we had a cart. <sighs> I thought you weren't tired. Fight, fight, fight. All right. Uh oh, we just go straight to Monstat. All right. Let's meet this uh rival, huh? No time to lose. Are you ready? Don't shame your master now. We're about to meet that successor. I can't read the stars. I guess. 
Wait, no. It won't do if you have no idea at all, even if you are a fake disciple. We have a rule that forbids us from teaching outsiders, but I suppose... I suppose I could teach you. My astrology is based on hydromancy, and as the name suggests, I use the reflections in water bodies to observe the true starry sky. Allow me to demonstrate. Watch closely now. From the present station and movement of the stars... I see. So that successor is a young... female... Knight of Favonius. Look carefully at what constellation it is. Doesn't that sound like Lisa? We will meet her here presently. Well, that's all the information we need. That that's all? <sighs> it seems that even basic astrology can't be grasped in one go. Never mind, I'll explain in detail later. She's here. Wow, it's you, Mr. Honorary Knight. And Paimon, too. You're back. That's her. The successor to great knowledge. You mean Klee? There must be some mistake. Successor? That's right. I am the astrologist who has plumbed the depths of the ocean of stars. Surely you have long calculated my arrival as well. An ocean of stars? What's that? Does it have fish in it? Fish? No, don't play dumb. Is this some kind of game? I should be the one saying that. I didn't get what you said at all. See, I said that this was a mistake. But my predictions can't be mistaken. <sighs> well, let's make sure. Your mother's name is Alice, isn't it? That's right. Oh, so you're Mommy's friend. But she's gone very far away. <sighs> My readings told me as much. But before she left, she must have imparted her mystical arts to you, surely. Mystical arts? I don't get it. Mommy only taught me to make jumpy dumpties. So Glee's mother is the friend and rival of Mona's teacher? Yes. As well-versed in astrology as she was, my master knew only astrology. Alice, on the other hand, was skilled in a great many other mystical fields. Well, Klee's so young, so even if she'd heard this deep knowledge, she might not have understood. Yes. It seems she has inherited the blood, but not the knowledge. What a miscalculation. There can be no contest like this. Ah, yes. So, before Alice left, did she tell you about a 50-year agreement and about a certain box? Oh, I know this one! So you're here for that box. I'll look. Wait here! Hmm... Not this one. Hmm... Hmm... Or this one. Hmm... No, no, it's not this one either. Ah! I remember now! I buried it together with my new treasure at Windrise! Why do you always bury important things outdoors? Wait for me! I'll be right back! Klee! Don't just run off! Don't you need the things in your pack? I'll help her pack these things back in. You go after her! <sighs> Looking at how rash she is, I worry for the box. That box is really important to me. If anything were to happen to it, I wouldn't be able to report back to that old crone. Alright. Digging a hole with Klee part two. Klee, there's a slime. There is a slime. We're here! This is it! Let's dig it up! Uh, this has to be the work of Dendro Slimes. It can't be! I put a sign here! There's no mistake! Ah! Dendro Slimes! Yep, Dendro Slimes! <sighs> we can talk later! Let's take them out first! Huh. 
Huh? Teamwork is dream work. Wind blade. Burn. There are leaks coming out now about Dendro reactions, and apparently Hydro and Dendro is going to do a interesting reaction. Found it! It's this box. <sighs> Glad it wasn't damaged in the explosions. Retrieval complete. Let's bring it back. Uh, apparently there's one, it, the Hydro and the Dendro reaction is going to grow oh, mushrooms please. or something that explode? Uh, I don't know. There's not a whole lot of information out about it right now and it's kind of confusing, but you know. You're back at last. The wait was exceedingly dull. I had intended to read a book to pass the time, but this one was just some ridiculous diary. Nothing of note in it at all. It dropped from Klee's backpack, so I thought it might contain some ancient knowledge, but... Never mind that. So, did you find the box? We did. It's in perfect shape. That's wonderful! Wait a moment. Why isn't it locked? And why is it empty? Huh? Well, it's because I borrowed this box to store my treasures. Borrowed? But since you're here for the box, I took all my treasures out. That's why it's empty. You used it to store your things? Then where are the original contents of the box? That's what I want. Oh, you want the thing that used to be in the box? You should have said so. You haven't broken it, have you? No, it's not broken at all. <sighs> it's the book in your hand. What? Th this. So this book, this diary, is that hag's... It's her diary from 50 years ago? The thing she wanted back after 50 years was the dark history of her youth? Ah, I'm finished. No wonder... No wonder that old woman said I should not look at it no matter what or she'd rip me to shreds. Am... am I in trouble? Uh, it was you who said you wanted the box. You didn't say anything about the thing inside. I don't know anything. I'm leaving. Bye. There's no point getting mad at Clee. Um, well, if you don't say anything, your master won't find out, will she? Impossible. Astrology can see through all lies. You've seen it yourself. Oh. After having spent all my mora to come to Mondstadt, not only have I gained no knowledge, but now I can't return. How did it come to this? That's so sad. Maybe you could forget everything in that book and then go back. That's... Uh, too difficult. And even if I wanted to stay in Mondstadt, it would be... Too expensive. <sighs> yes. I mean, no. You really have no way with words. Well, then you'll just have to go back and face your master. S stop talking about it. I I guess I'll have to... I'll just have to stay in Mondstadt temporarily. Once that old crone's reached the end of her days, I'll be free. Does that really count as temporary? But what will I do about my astrology research? No, wait. I don't even have a place to stay. About that. We can go ask Catherine at the Adventurer's Guild. Let's see if she can help. The Adventurer's Guild? Ah, oh, right. You can do commissions for them in exchange for... You know what I mean, don't you? That was always the plan. Oh, um, thanks. I... Never mind, it's nothing. Ah! Oh, okay, uh, speak to Catherine and help Mona find a place to stay. Hello, Catherine. We need to speak with you, Catherine. Once again. Help me, please. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. 
about Mona's background and her quandary. I see. I understand the situation. There is a magic laboratory in Mondstadt that has been sealed by some unknown person. Although we have a few specialists who could break the seal, they all have their own labs and aren't that interested in the matter. I believe that if the astrologist you mentioned can break the seal, the owner of that house wouldn't mind if she stayed there. I'll ha I'll I'll take her to go have a look. All right. Then allow me to tell you where the house is. <laughs> Remember this door? The person who placed this seal is by no means simple. Breaking this seal by force is nigh on impossible. Interesting. I suppose it's worth using my astrology on. Let me see. Mm, I see. So if you first, and then you... All right, it's open. Holy moly, that's amazing! Now we just need to go back to Catherine and you'll be able to stay here! No need, no need. You have my utmost thanks. You are? Oh, I'm Goth, the owner of this house. I passed by the Adventurer's Guild a while back and Catherine told me about the matter. I never thought this troublesome seal would be dispelled so quickly. Does that mean I can stay here? <laughs> of course, of course. The facilities inside were just being left there anyway. I would be glad to have someone make use of them. To express my thanks, I shall rent this building to you at the lowest possible price. R rent? I didn't hear anything about rent, and I helped out too. Uh, oh, well, yes, of course, I understand. I am most thankful to you for that. So rest assured that I will give you the best rates. I... I mean... Paimon thinks Mona's misunderstood something, but... This might be her best option. <sighs> I guess I don't have any other choice. I'll rent this place. Great! Then we are agreed. I will go prepare the documentation. Please wait here. Thanks for your help. Also, well, I'm very sorry, but I won't be able to do what I agreed to help you with just yet. Without the necessary tools and without new knowledge, it will take me some time to see your destiny clearly. But I promise that I'll do a reading for you first thing once I'm ready. Guess you've got to keep working at it then. Yes. I don't really know what to do, but I'll do my best. I wish you both safe travels. As for me, I need to think of the future as well. How is she gonna make a living if she doesn't use astrology to make money? Hmm. Maybe we should come back and check on her once in a while. It would really be bad if she fainted from hunger in there. Yay! And now you can go up to this door and... Uh, hello? Door? Cut that racket out! I'm doing experiments here! Oh, it's you! I'm currently running some tests related to your situation. I should see some results soon, so please wait patiently. Don't worry about me fainting from hunger. In any case, I figured out a way to make some money. So for money, she writes uh, articles uh, for on astrology for a paper in Fontaine. Um, <laughs> and she and Albedo get together once in a while to discuss the truth of this world, since they are both looking in that, even though looking for that, even though they have very different like fields of study. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning more about the astrologer Mona Majestus. B -b -b -b. Uh, I'm in pain. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Bye! Uh, oh, uh, next, I think, is Tartaglia, but I'm not sure. It might be Zhongli. It's one of those two. Uh, bye-bye!